everyone. A lot of people wanted to know this question, so I made the video on how to get all 14 version exclusive Paradox Pokemon in one game and catch them yourself so that you can have your original trainer name on them. There is a possibility that this could be patched, so take advantage of this while you can. There won't be any story spoilers, only Pokemon spoilers, so if you want to save this video and come back to it later, make sure to bookmark this video or put it in a playlist for later. There's a few things you're going to have to do before going into this. One, you have to beat all three storylines and the final fourth storyline. Two, you're going to need another Switch or someone you know with an opposite version of the game. Three, you're going to have to either connect to local multiplayer or online multiplayer. Four, you're going to need to communicate with someone your location inside Area Zero in order to pull off this trick. So to make your lives easier, I made a Discord channel in my server called Paradox Hunters, where you can link up with someone in the endgame in order to pull this off. That'll be linked in the description below, as well as the pinned comment on this video. Make sure to follow along closely because this method can be very confusing if you skip around. Let's get into it. Okay, so step one you're going to be connecting to the union circle in this case my pokemon scarlet is going to be connecting to my pokemon violet so we are in the violet world once you said hello to both players you've joined you're then going to head over to the zero area on your map which you're going to be able to access of course by the end of the game once you go to that spot you're both going to enter into the lab yes i was playing with two hands on two controllers to try to get this done so once you enter this lab, both players will not be able to see each other anymore, just one player at a time. Now, for the first step to get to certain Pokemon, we're going to go to the first area, which is going to be Research Station number one. Now, in Research Station number one, we're going to be going for Slither Moth and Iron Moth. So, sorry, Slither Wing and Iron Moth. And the Violet player pops up here, and you can see the Iron Moth show up because Violet players will spawn their Violet exclusive Pokemon. And because the Violet player spawned it, you can't really see the Violet player, but you can interact with Iron Moth with your Scarlet player. But as you notice, that Iron Moth is not making target lock on with the Scarlet player. Instead, it's focusing on the Violet player. Now, because the Scarlet player was all the way back, it spawned in Slitherwing in the background, which is exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet. So in this case, the Pokemon Violet player is going to be focusing on the other one while the scarlet player will then go in on the iron moth so here we go we've interacted in battle with the iron moth and the violet player once he's done his job of spawning in is going to head over to slitherwing which the pokemon scarlet player then also brought in the game so here's the interaction there it is we're just going to show quick captures throwing a timer ball and the violet player just like that has now caught a scarlet exclusive pokemon with their own ot without having to trade it with someone else's name. And this is probably the best method that you're going to do. So Research Lab Area 1, that's how you get Sly Slitherwing in your Pokemon Violet game. And for the people in Pokemon Scarlet, this is the Iron Moth battle. This is how they're going to get it in Pokemon Scarlet. Getting a Violet exclusive in Scarlet by just being in this area. And we're, I don't know if this is a glitch. It it, it might be. I don't know. Maybe we'll get this patch. So probably want to get on this soon. All right. Before we go any deeper into Area Zero, I'm going to need you to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and turn on notifications. This lets me know that you all like videos like this, and I'll keep making them. So this is now going to be the Research Area Lab number two. And when you come out of here, you're going to see Pokemon like Iron Hands, because the Violet player spawned in and walked out the door first. That is why you see exclusive Violet Paradox Pokemon right now. And as a Scarlet player starts to walk around, the Scarlet Pokemon might spawn. And that title you just saw shows that the same player is on top of you. And right now you can see that Iron Hands is not able to fight. That's because the Violet player interacted with it and left. And once you leave that battle, it despawns. And you can see the Scarlet Pokemon, Brute Bonnet, has now shown up. And because of the spawning. And the Violet player now can access the Scarlet exclusive right outside of this number lab too. So this is really cool what the Violet and Scarlet players can do. And we'll have the Violet player at this point head over and get into battle with this Pokemon because it's time. And there's another notification that Philly beats you. The Scarlet version was close by. And there you go. You're in battle with the Brute Bonnet. And they're going to be able to just throw a quick ball. Be able to catch that. And the Violet player has now added a second Paradox version exclusive from Scarlet to their party. And the Scarlet player will then interact with Iron Hands, which is basically the counterpart of Brute Bonnet, 
and be able to catch that as well. So this is pretty awesome way of doing it. So this is the location for these two. Not only these two, but we're going to be hunting two more at research lab area number two. This is a really follow along kind of guide where you're going to be doing this coordination with your other player via a call or text. And the indicator of the icon name showing up at the screen is a big deal, like how it shows up there. Anyway, there are two more other Pokemon in this area. It is going to be the Pokemon Scarlet Screamtail and the Pokemon Violet Iron Bundle. These are the counterparts here. So because the Violet and Scarlet players are there, Iron Bundle was able to spawn and the Pokemon Scarlet player is now able to interact with this battle with Iron Bundle. And that is your future Deli Bird. It looks great. So just go ahead and catch that Pokemon when you have the chance. Remember, if you run away from any of these Pokemon, they will despawn from the world completely. And you have to wait for someone else to respawn them in. So be really careful with the hard to one spawns. And now the Pokemon Scarlet player is going to be running around because the goal is now to get Screamtails to show up. We need Screamtails, which is the Paradox Jigglypuff, basically. And once Screamtails eventually shows up, there you go, because you're walking back and forth. That is the opportunity for the Pokemon Violet player to jump on it. Remember, you have to be further away from the opposite player to get their Pokemon to spawn. Sometimes it's going to have some difficulties with that. So please be aware of that. And then we're going to throw a quick ball right over here. And that's done. So you've taken care of the four Paradox spawns here. And now you're going to head to the left of the Research Lab 2 over to this giant hill where we're going to be hunting two other Paradox Pokemon. For the Pokemon Scarlet version, it's going to be Sandy Shocks. And for the Pokemon Violet version, it's going to be Iron Thorns. And right now, the Violet player was trying to get Iron Thorns to spawn. And to put it simply for people who don't know that name, that is going to be the Paradox Tyranitar that shows up. And we weren't able to have luck with that Violet player, but we had the Scarlet player try it out. And right in the background, there we go. Sandy Shock showed up as we approach this area. So it's going to be closer to the rock area. Make sure to keep the other player back so this Pokemon spawns. And then interaction. Sandy Shocks. There it is. Paradox Mon. Another one just like that. Throw out a Quick Ball. And the Violet player now has added another Paradox Scarlet exclusive Pokemon to their party. And you can see it's registering right here. And this is really the best way to have your original trainer. I think this is a really awesome method. And now we're going to try to get the other version to spawn. So the Pokemon Scarlet player has to move away. And what the Pokemon Violet player is now going to do once that person has moved away, their goal is to now get the Tyranitar to spawn. So do this method. Follow along very closely. If you're having trouble spawning, just repeat all the mechanisms in this video. While the Scarlet player is waiting, this is all the Violet player is doing. Yep. And there it is. You kind of have to move out of the render. So Pokemon despawn and respawn and you have to cause it to happen. Once the Violet player is holding that Paradox Tyranitar or the Iron Thorns in that corner, the Scarlet player like this can simply just walk straight up to it. There it is. And uh, if you want to snap a selfie or update your profile with opposite Paradox Wild Pokemon to show off that you did this trick, pretty cool trick to do. Uh, for some reason, this Tyranitar or this Iron uh, Thorns is not really responding. It's fast asleep, very sleepy. And we're throwing the Pokeball and done. So these version exclusive Pokemon are all taken care of in this area for the Research Lab 2. Now, from Research Lab 2, you're going to make a right and go all the way down instead of going up the hill. So you got the past Pokemon by making a left and going uphill. And now you're going down to get further Pokemon. So just follow along with the character here as we walk past this waterfall. And then this tree is your next icon. After you see this tree, you're then going to, yep, cut right into those rocks. There we go. And this is going to be another cave where we're going to be focusing on four Paradox Pokemon. Two for Pokemon Scarlet and two for Pokemon Violet. Once your Pokemon Scarlet player arrives here, just simply wait for your Violet player to arrive. And unfortunately, those are not Paradox Pokemon. But there you go. The Violet person has now spawned the Hydrogen, or in this case, it's going to be the Iron Jugulus. The Iron Jugulus has now spawned for the Violet player, which means the Pokemon Scarlet player right there can see it and then interact with it to add another Paradox Mon to the arsenal. And you can see that you can snap some pictures. They don't attack the opposite player. They're never going to be focused on the opposite player. 
it is a spawn attracted to the main world player. So there you go. Once you interact with battle, or you can just run into it, just go ahead and catch it. And now the Pokemon Scarlet player has added another Pokemon to their arsenal. And by the way, the counterpart to the Iron Jugulus is going to be the Fluttermane, which is basically your Mistrevis. Anyway, so the Scarlet player, once finishing that, is going to walk into the main area, which is this giant green part of the cave. And the goal is to spawn the most OP Pokemon of each version. Over here in this version, you're going to be spawning the Salamance, or in this case, going to be called the Roaring Moon. So once you get that spawning, this, this is pretty cool, by the way, when you get these. You yeah, had the Roaring Moon spawn, and the Violet player sees it and can jump right on it. And boom! The Violet player is now fighting the most strongest Paradox Pokemon for the player Pokemon Scarlet's World, and you're going to be catching that exclusive and it's going to be, again, to your original OT name. You don't have to get someone else's name. I think that's the best part about this. And here we go. You can see Roaring Moon is now registered into the Pokemon Violet Player's game. And now the Pokemon Violet Player's job is to spawn the Iron Valiant. And as soon as the Violet Player is able to spawn it in, the Scarlet Player gets to interact with it. There we go. And we just have to catch this. By the way, this is one of my favorite Paradox Mons. I love this thing. The, I think the, the OP Mons were really good. And again, once you're in battle, you can pose around with the other trainer's Pokemon. I think that's the coolest part about this. And in the background of this fight, there was a Shiny Doug Trio in the background. I don't know why Doug Trio was there. I noticed the blue nose after. And um, here's a little bonus for the video after you caught that Paradox Pokemon. This is a little Shiny bonus. So... So we're going to go catch it. You can see the shiny showing up from both perspectives of the Scarlet and Violet player. I don't know which one necessarily spawned them in. No idea. Uh, but, you know, I have to add this to my collection. So Scarlet's my main game. And I jumped on Scarlet to go ahead and grab it. So there's a quick uh, shiny Doug Trio to my party. Beautiful Doug Trio, shiny. All right, let's get the last Paradox Pokemon, which which is what the Scarlet player is going to have to spawn in. This is going to be, like I said, Fluttermane, which is exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet, the counterpart to Iron Jugulus, and the Violet player is then going to run up to it and interact. So this cave, like I said, is going to be responsible for four Pokemon. Once you're in here, you nuked another two, two each for each game. This is great. And once you're done with all this, we're going to move on to the next location to get the next Paradox Pokemon. There we go. Fluttermane caught. Beautiful. And registered to the Violet Dex. Boom. Okay. This last spot is going to be Research Lab number three. That's it. Research Lab number three. It's not going to be too complicated. And both players are going to make their way down into the cave. Straight from the lab. As soon as I, I show these Research Labs, all you're doing is you're looking to the left, to the right, or going straight from it. So, Research Lab number three. Go down this cave. I wanted to take you guys through the order of it. And then you're going to make a slight right. Have your opposite version player also follow along. Remember, whoever leads is going to initially get the first spawns to happen in the game. So here we go. The Scarlet player is now walking forward. And because the Violet player was ahead, like I said, you're most likely going to get Violet spawns happening. And the Violet player, as it's moving ahead, there you go. You now see the Iron or the yeah Iron Treads is right there. Iron Treads is spawned in the game which means the Scarlet player now is going to head over to it and catch it. There it is. Iron Treads, Pokemon Scarlet, and grab it as well. Really beats you. Scarlet will now benefit <laughs> from this Iron Treads. And something interesting, because I was in the background and I came later after the really beats you from Pokemon Violet, that caused the Great Tusk to actually spawn in the background while the Violet player was in the foreground. And the Violet player now can run back and grab this one, which is the Great Tusk, uh, by far the superior version. Let me know if I'm wrong or not. Here we go. The Great Tusk. And the ball. Just like that. Complete. And done. And that is the trick to get all 14 Paradox Pokemon in your one copy of the game with your original OT trainer. Go ahead and check out this video if you want to learn some more tricks about the game.